Sinai. Sinai. So, so watch what, what it helps us to understand. That in sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, there comes a point where we are responsible for sharing with people also the standard of Christ. The good news of Jesus Christ is that Jesus did not come to judge. Jesus did not come to condemn. That he is God's gracious gift to those that believe he brings salvation. But he doesn't just come as savior. When you accept him as savior, he also gets to be Lord. And as Lord, he begins to teach you standards. He begins to teach you the way of righteousness. So when I am brought into his saving grace and counted as righteous, then he begins to teach me how to be righteous. Ooh, catch that thing right there. I got to hit rewind and bring you back because I don't want you to miss it. Grace allows me credit as being righteous up front. But then he begins to teach me how to be what he's given me credit for. So you don't get credit for being righteous and then become excused for being unrighteous. Sinai, Sinai. There's, a, there's, a, there's a thing in me that starts to boil when, when I look at the condition of the church holistically because we've taught a gospel that says that by grace you can be counted as righteous and, and you think that you can just stay unrighteous. But that's not the gospel. The gospel is that he imputes unto you righteousness by grace up front. If you say that you believe and that you want him to be the, be the Lord of your life, he counts you as righteous. But then by the power of the Holy Ghost, through the inspired word and through the counsel of the Holy Ghost in you, he begins to teach you what it means to be righteous. And if you're really yielded, you begin to apply his righteousness to your daily walk. Yeah. So I get credit up front, but then I get transformed in the process. Sayonara. I get transformed in the process.